All right, guys. So for today, I'm going to show you guys how to install one of those fancy looking rugged cases. This one being for uh, a rifle, but you know, because it's a long, slim, narrow uh, one, but this works for any case. doesn't matter if it's a Rome case, a Harbor Freight case, and how to put it on your roof rack that has the sliding type rails. So it's actually pretty easy to install one of these onto your roof rack. A couple of things you're gonna need is uh, a drill to drill some holes and then some bolts. So uh, you can use T-nuts. Um, those actually work really well. They're hard to find in local hardware stores, but you can find them online. Uh, one place I found them on uh, websites called T-nuts with a Z at the end. Dot com and they do sell them. Uh, I decided instead to go with undercarriage bolts. This should work just as well and they're a little thicker than the T-nuts so I think it will actually secure them a little bit better. And then I just have a washer and a nut. So first thing you can do is turn your case upside down and not fuck up your can of refreshing seltzer water. And measure where you want to bolt them. For me, simple enough, I'm gonna use these dimples because there's a multitude of them I'm only going to use four to secure this, so two on the end and two on the end. And I feel like this is a pretty perfect spot because it's not right on the edge. It's a little bit in, which that actually secures it. Um, your items better. You don't want to, you don't have the bolt right exactly here because then there's all this room in between that's not really tight to anything. Um, so you could do something as simple as measure from here to here, right? So I already did that, it's 44 inches. And then you could go over here and try to measure 44 inches. But my plan is I'm gonna drill those holes and then what I can do is, a lot of people don't realize, is you can adjust these, right? So you just take these um, bolts, you loosen them up with a Allen key, right? And then these slide in these joints. So instead of matching this box exactly to those rails, I'm gonna match Joe's rails to this box uh, as best I can. I just feel like that's gonna be a lot better than trying to adjust to that. So just remember that uh, most people that I see install these boxes, I don't know why, they always uh, adjust the box to the rail so they'll be crazily on the roof, measuring rail to rail, trying to get it just right on the box. Um, I really see no reason for that. So let's go right into it. And as always, you want to drill a hole a little bit smaller than the diameter of your bolt. So I just, simple enough, bam, that's a little bit smaller, so that'll work. And you could even step it down a little bit more than that if you really wanted to. So I'll start just on the safe side, a little smaller than that. Now, dummy, you also want to make sure you empty your fucking box while you do this. I have my box packed out right now. So, let me empty it real quick. Okay. 
that way I don't drill into anything crazy. Uh, and I hope these are the right size. So I bought an inch long. Um, I was going to buy the half inch. And I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have now. Uh, but we'll see. Once it's in the uh, carriage up there, how it looks. So pretty simple. Drill a hole. Remember, we're going with four of them. And I'm, again, just using these dimples, and I'm going in the center of them. Two on that side. Two on this side. There we go. You can see the four holes. One, two, three, four. Again, this is the bottom side of my box. So that's where you want to put these holes. Again, you can see that I'm going to have to step that up a little bit. So now besides making those holes bigger, the next thing I want to do is I want to put the box uh, up on top and see exactly where I want it per the holes and then I'll line up those. Um, for that I'm going to put the camera up there so you guys can see it. So as you can see I'm starting to adjust just to see where it would be. So I don't even have to move this back bracket it looks like. It's going to line up perfectly with those holes and I can still put my tail up. The wheels hang off just a little bit, which I like actually because it's mac maximizing the usage of this. And then those front holes are actually like right here where the beam is. Um, so yeah, all I'm going to have to do then is uh, I'm going to have to adjust this slightly. So I'm going to have to either A, move it back a little bit more and adjust this one back a little bit more. Or I can push it forward maybe a little bit to go off of this one. So I could do something like that maybe if I wanted to. Leaving that back one a little open. I'm not sure if I really like that because, again, I like to maximize the uh, roof rack. That's just me because I actually am going to be utilizing this. This case right here has all my camping gear in it. So that one would work, right? Because as you can see, that is the dimple right there. So I would just have to adjust this one barely, if at all, honestly because you can see there's two grooves on the bottom. There's also two grooves on the top. So this groove right here is pretty close to that groove. So I would definitely have to move this one though. Uh, so next thing is, is just getting the, um, loosening these side bolts so I can slide these in. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, so I got one of the bolts off. Now all I'm gonna do is take the other bolt off, and then that way I can move the rail up a little bit or down a little bit so I can slide those bolts in. And I'm gonna show you that just in one moment. Now as you can see, when the other bolt came off, this thing actually slammed down because it has a little weight on it from that tire over there. Uh, not a big deal. So then all I'm going to do is slide this in through there, which I'm hoping that's going to fit. Looks like it's going to be pretty close, actually. Oh, dang it. Actually, I might have brought the wrong size. Mm. 
All right, guys, so I was actually wrong on the hardware that I showed you earlier. So um, that size wouldn't fit on my rack for the carriage bolts. This part right here wouldn't slide into the slots. So what I got now is just some regular bolts that are Allen keyed. And I got these. These are drop-in uh, I forgot what they call these drop in T nuts and they will secure to this. So what's good about these ones is you don't have to take that off to get them on. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Oh. So just as a little demonstration. Set you up right here. Let me adjust you real quick. You should be able to see that. So usually what I'd have to do is I'd have to take these bolts off and then I could slide in the T-nut. Uh, these ones though, they just drop in like that. So it makes it a lot easier so you don't have to take uh, everything all the way off. not even strapped in all the way. So let me get that off real quick. All right, so I got that wheel off. So now it's time to put the box on. Ah, and I'm hoping this will work, we'll see. Get you in a good position. Now when I'm mounting this, I'm mounting it so the handle's on the outside so I can still open it while it's up here. And I just realized I want them both in the same slot, which is easy to get them out. Bam, just got it out. So 
So I want them both in this back slot. And I'm going to try to line up this back one first. I think I got it, yep. And now this next one. And I'll post links to where I um, got these drop-in tea nuts. They're awesome. I actually ordered one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. I think I ordered like 10 of them. Two, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I ordered 10 of them just because in case I want to add anything else to these. Um, I kind of wish I would have ordered more of these black ones. I also ordered these, but these ended up being too short. So the black ones are just long enough um, for my application of this uh, rifle storage case. So again, I'm going to do two in the back and two in the front. Now I'm not trying to tighten it too much. Because I still have to do the front ones. Okay, those two are on. Now it's time for the two front ones. So, two more of those, Allen wrench, and two more drop-ins, and I'm going to be doing this part up there. Ah. Same thing, I'm going to do this side first. And then this side. Hmm. It actually looks like I am going to have to take and move these bars a bit. Yep. So let me move these bars and then I'll show you me putting them in just because right now these two holes don't line up to the top bars. And we'll be right back. All right, so I got them installed. They're still not perfect. You can see, I think you can see that. There's still a little gap on them, which I'm not in love with. But like I said, this is camping gear going in here. And this is waterproof, so I'm not too concerned, but I need to buy, uh, obviously a little smaller than that, which um, those were an inch, so I'm thinking maybe uh, three quarters of an inch will be the perfect um, size 
because as you can see, when I flip this top up, and that's them tightened all the way down. So yeah, I need a little bit smaller, but you know, it works for now. So uh, that's all I have. I'm gonna load this up with my camping gear. And I, like I said, finally got it on. I think it looks good. It's secured. Um, really again, not doing it for looks as much as I am for utility. So let me know what you think. Thumbs up. Um, if you have an easier way, easier method, um, let me know in the comments below.